Welcome back guys to another video here by Glock Productions. My name is Toby and today we are going to be reviewing the Lego Avatar set 75573 Floating Mountain Site 26 RDA Samson. This is one of the nine Avatar sets or you could include maybe 10 with the brick heads. But I'm trying to collect them all and this is my first review that I've done but it's the one of four sets that I currently have. You get... Five minifigures with 887 pieces retailing for $99.99 in the United States. The box is very nice. I got this on eBay for, I believe, $18 off the retail price. So you can find some good sets on eBay for a steal. You can see the nice box art with the nice Avatar logos. And then great detail all the way around. If you move to the top of the box, right here, you show the minifigures. And they do have two glow-in-the-dark bricks over here, not too much. And then on the back right here, just some of the functions with whatever the animal's called. I've only seen this movie a couple of times, but I absolutely love the series or the two movies. Can't wait to see them all. Show some, well, I'm going to show you guys more in detail. And then on this side, just some more. If you open it, here's just a normal box on the inside. So now getting into the minifigures. First, you have Jake Sully with the wheelchair. This figure is very good. You don't get wheelchairs all that often. So there he is right here. You can see some of the sweat marks and the face mask to go outside because you cannot go outside as it's not human oxygen. Take a deeper look, you can see the sweaty, that focus in the sweaty chest. The simple hair piece, he's a very simplistic minifigure. Most of the time he's just in his um, tube to turn into the avatar. And on the back he has a face, which will he can use when you're inside the building. Very nice figure, if you want to see the wheelchair. Not many of these in Lego, so it's cool to get one. Um, this is the only stand that actually comes with it for the actual minifigures themselves. You can see, rolls around quite nicely. Rolling on to our next minifigure, we actually have Dr. Grace Augustine. Like I said, these um, stands do not are not included, the black ones. I just do that to show you the figure itself. Very nice waist printing, dual, or like the molded legs, very nice, the dual molded, but they are the same. Nice hair piece, interesting back, and just look at those outstanding legs. If you take off the hair piece, it will reveal her mask face um, for when she goes outside as well. Very beautiful minifigure, beautiful blue. Once again, that is Dr. Grace Augustine. For the last human, we have Trudy Kasson. I believe that's how you say it. She's a girl from the Fast and Furious movies. Once again, stay not included. She has the nice um, glasses on. That would be like the tablet or the high-tech glasses when she's um, manning the helicopter. Very simplistic figure. Don't need to have too much detail. I like they add a lot of detail to the figures that need it. Very simplistic minifigure. So now we get into the two avatars. First, you have Jake Soley once again. Um, him in his avatar form. This is the most simplistic version of him. And as you guys can tell, they are going to be taller than an actual minifigure, which I like how they did that as they're taller in the movie. So these are all custom pieces made for avatars. Um, got the nice bow right there. Let's take a look into him. You got the nice um, tribal face paintings and then the nice waist and the knife on the back. And then he has a beautiful hair piece and then tail. Nice back, and you can see the three studs instead of the normal, or the two and a half instead of the one and a half like normal. To get into our other avatar, we have Norm Spellman, the nerd of him. We don't have the human form, just the avatar form of him with the nice spear. A lot more simplistic because he's not part of the tribe, or not initially, compared to when you see him in the second movie. Very nice, very nice spear. And these hair pieces are actually, have a hole in the bottom of them, right here, because that's it's actually accessible. It's, Let's take Norm for an example. We're going to use it for um, the animal, whatever. You can see right here, you can tell it's a stud, so you're just going to take these two pieces off the clips. You take the um, brick off right there, and you can sit them down right there. Very nice, very nice. And you can obviously hold it or whatnot. But in the movie, you actually would put... Um, let's see if I could do this. I believe you put it like such... Or, I, 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 let's just see. It's just, you're supposed to have it on the back of the hair piece right here. And then you're supposed to sit your... Um, I don't know why it's not working. But um, 
You're supposed to be able to do that. It works a lot better. Oh, there it is. Like that. And then like, you, become, you become one with the beast. Which is nice. It's more better when you have like the flying. First flight, I believe it's called. So yeah. Other than that, let's take a look into this animal. You can see mainly all, obviously custom molded. All one piece basically except for these accessible things right here. And this just is just like um, five bricks or whatever, four. Nice, simplistic. Put them on and then you can just, like I said, put the clips on right here. And then you have the nice um, animal right there. To get in the first of two major buildings or builds of the set, you're going to have um, where it's located in the Floating Mountains, Site 26. So we're going to set that up right here. This is how it looks. And I actually very like this, very much like the design of this um, first portion right here. You're going to have the nice railing for the accessible wheelchair to get them all the way up here. So that's what that's meant for. Let's just take a look on the outside. First, you can see this nice um, touchpad. Very good design right there. I like the slopes and everything used on this set. If you go over, you're going to see like a gas tank right here, actually. And then even the studs are nice because it actually does fly in there in the movie. In the back, some just a nice, simple detail. And then not much on this side. I very much like how they do the bottom with the standing details. This is very nice, very smart design. And the door is actually able to open, as I'll show you right here. But to get on the inside, you're just going to lift this up. It's connected on like a few studs, very accessible. But it's nice because if you want it on, you turn it upside down. I don't. Um, I'm actually not sure if it will fall off. Let's see. Does it just fall off? Oh, it actually does. But, um, that's okay. I actually did not know that. It's, yeah, there's no studs actually connecting it, really. There's just these two hinge pieces keeping it intact right here. But that's okay. You're not going to really turn this upside down. So let's get into the build. Right here, you have a lot of stickers in here. You can see, like, a Jake Soli when he's in the, um, like, back to tank. That's from Star Wars. And then you just lay him down in there. That's why he's a simplistic minifigure, because you just lay him down. He's a little sweaty. And like I said with the door, very nice door. I love I love these kind of doors. And then if you want to get into over here, you could see the nice control panel. All stickers remind you. And then a full 360 chair to sit down, like um, Dr. Grace Augustine, Augustine, whatever. So very simplistic right here, and then the top of it. Just very, I, like I said, I love the slopes they use for this, like the caution tape and whatnot. Um, very iconic, and then it looks exactly like it does in the movie. To get into the second part, you have, I guess you could say, the floating island. Um, all Avatar sets have like this nice design where you could have your build and whatnot. Let's zoom out. Your build and whatnot, and then it gives you a stand for it. Let's angle this up. Okay. So you can see these three white pieces, one, two, three, or actually all glow in the dark, as you can tell in here, very bright, and did not insanely glow in the dark, but you can see them glow somewhat in the dark. A trans piece to um, kind of show the floaty mountain aspect of it. You see the nice technic on the back. And then to pull this off, you're actually just going to take it off right there. You're going to see the hinge piece right here, the technic pin, and you can go either right there or right there so let's get into the floating island itself not much detail uh, but it has nice plant pieces on the bottom obviously it won't look very good by itself but the technic pieces uh, make it very strong and durable very sturdy and this is nice so you don't have to have your helicopter um or rda samson technically you don't have to have this just um sitting on the floor next to the um site 26 I like how they do that. I wish they do that for Star Wars. As you guys can tell, there's a lot of sets right over there. But to get into the actual vehicle itself, these wing designs are beautiful. They're very tight, but you can spin them. They look better if they just stand in place. You can see, I wish they would have done something printed here. But the stickers get a little mixed up. This one's very a little bit crooked. I'm not sure if you could tell. But in person, I definitely can. <coughs> but nice design, nice design right here. Um, the cockpit piece mainly printed. It's not a hinge or anything. It just pops on off as you can see. Very simplistic on the controls. I believe they could have done a better job. Let's just go back and zoom in a little bit. Right there, it's just like the lever piece. Very disappointing. But the seat is very nice for the character just to slide right in. 
and then let's put that right back on as such. Right here, you can just put some other minifigures, your avatars hanging on as they could breathe in the outside air. Nothing, you can't take any of this off. And then once again, it's very sturdy. Good to hold on right here. Actually, for this set, you can hold on at a lot of points. <clears throat> Excuse me. B pretty much anywhere, this is very sturdy. The last feature is um, just a new flick fire missile. You just push down right here and this will shoot out. And then we'll just show you how to connect it back on. As such, you just put it in, boom. And it's gonna set up very nicely. As you can see, this set's a very good bundle of everything. You get so many different types of things. You get a vehicle, you get like the sight, you get like a wild beast, and then two avatars to roam around. Um, a human, or three humans technically, two that will go on the site, one that will go on the helicopter. And the final thing is, um, just want to mention, because I know some of you guys do, there are actually three instruction manuals, one for the helicopter, one for that, and um, three for this. So technically, you could build this with three people at once, if you're into that, with like, or if you're with three siblings. Um, you could choose whichever you want to build. Um at each given time if you open these up they will be very simple Exci aside from the fact is it shows your progress down right there you can see the avatar moving and as you get farther through the instruction book he moves farther along which is a great detail i like how they did that would i recommend this set to anyone looking into buying it number one this is more for play i mean obviously it's for play but people who love avatar absolutely an amazing set there's only nine of them that's why i want to collect them all I, I would like to have every minifigure, every build. I would 100% recommend this. I'll probably give it an 8.9, almost an, probably a 9 out of 10. They couldn't do that much. Maybe the price is a, maybe $10 too high, but you don't see many sets retailing for $90 these days. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more reviews coming your way soon. Peace.